what's going on everybody so today we are here at a new place we are here at the Bernal property the Bernal pier here in Arroyo City Texas um, we're gonna be trying it out see if maybe we can catch a few speckled trout we are here to see if we can get some speckled trout um, today I'm out here with my dad and my mom But yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna see what goes on. All right, guys, so we are here at the property. Just got here. My mom is down there. She's gonna be trying it out. My dad's actually up there himself. He's gonna set up the barbecue pit and whatnot. Alright guys, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there is a lot of bait right there somewhere around. Lots of mullet. And I've been seeing some real big hits over there. We're gonna try it out guys. Just got here. Really nice place. Let's see if there's anything in here. See what goes on. Alright guys, so first things first. I need to get me some bait. Damn. There's some big fish in here. Yeah. Yeah, the bucket's right there. It's, uh, it's got water already. The bubbler's on, so. So I cast them right here? I'm gonna try our luck, guys. I got a small little cast net. A small little cast net here and maybe we'll get lucky i feel like we're gonna have a net full of bait only i can get it untangled there you go, there you go. Right. so i see a lot of mullet right here should we get them <laughs> got some more, got some more, guys. Let me see if I can get some more mullet before we start it. And those mullet are real big. Got something in there. Got some more mullets. Well, I don't know what else is in there. Got some real good ones. Oh, some baby catfish too. Oh. Is that what this is? Could be. It's a baby. It is a baby. Oh, 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 oh. I am using the Texas made lure, the Texas spec. Tiny little shrimp. Hopefully you guys can see it. All right, well, we're gonna try it out, guys. Yeah, see, you know, I just had a bite right now. I'm gonna cast it out there and just slowly re reel it in and see if. I oh man, there we go. There we go. We're gonna get one right now. We're gonna get one. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like even mullet are hitting it. Huh? Let it sink a little bit. I'm gonna leave it in. A 
there's something out there. I'm pretty sure they're gonna hit it. Man, there's some there's like snooks over here. It might be a keeper, that looks like a keeper. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> just got here. <laughs> and my mom is up there. Hello. <laughs> Nice Caught it on live mullet, the ones that we just pulled out from her. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. I still haven't measured it, that I don't know if you. Oh, too small. Too small. Really? Yep. How much? 16 and like and three quarters mm. a little bit longer and it would have been a keeper but we just got here yeah. so are we using a floater or? no just a hook on the bottom hook on the bottom mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> it's a nice little place here guys honestly i really like it so i'll probably be making a lot of my videos here again um but there's been some bites we've been getting bites we've been seeing fish hitting a lot of top water they're swimming around there's a lot of bait over here off to the dark area i've been seeing a lot of um it, it looked to me it looks like snook <laughs> took off already oh well, guys we thought that fish it looked like it died but it just took off swimming But we're gonna see if we can get another one. See if we can catch a keeper. Yeah. She got that one on live mullet. So we'll see what's up. Light mullet. So I'm gonna keep trying that Texas spec. I'm just gonna spray it down real quick. A couple sprays of of that spray on that shrimp using the crab scent. We are using the crab scent today. So I, I like using this one a lot just because I don't like to smell like garlic too much. But to each his own. Damn. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that one, that one. There we go. Come on. On the Texas spec, man. I just threw it in there. Ah, this is guy is skinny. Looks like he was really hungry for something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oof. Right so, under. Same as the other one. Really looks really good. Yeah. And this is skinny too, so either way I probably would have thrown him back. <laughs> looks like he needs to feed on these mullet here. <laughs> So right now it is calm guys there's not really a lot of wind um i really like days like that you know because you're able to cast wherever you want and you don't really have to go sir go get it on <laughs> this is a 
smaller one. But man, they want this freaking lure. Come on, buddy. I'll throw you back in. Man, they destroyed this lure. <laughs> Wow, this one's too destroyed, guys. Look at this. And when they hit it, it it's like an aggressive hit. See, I don't know if y'all can see, but this thing is gone. Let me go ahead and see if I can, if I got another one. I know he gave me some, so I gotta have some here somewhere. Uh, let's see what else he's got here. Man, what color? Oh, yes, he's got another. Give me some more of these pink ones. So I'm just gonna use the same one. Here, let me go do it over there at the light. So I got this little shrimp right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and. this guy and belly down and see how this works all right so got another shrimp ready to go <clears throat> gonna spray it down with that mr. ballyhoo oil you guys already know. Let's see if we can get another one. Right here, they're all right there stacked. They're kind of small, but. Damn, look, there's one right there, a nice one. Right out over here it's a little darker but and they're out there right now I change this lure they don't buy it anymore where do you at oh Oh, <laughs> something almost had it. Oh yeah, guys, one of the one of my favorite lures to use are these Texas-made lures. Um, you guys can get them there at Southernmost Wildlife Products or with um, Mr. Ballyhoo, Captain George, there in Los Fresnos. Um, I believe Gilbert should have some lures as well. Gilbert's in Port Isabel. But yeah, guys, I really recommend you guys try them out. I mean, they work. I know I enjoy using them. The line that I have is a little too heavy for that lure, just because it's a smaller lure. I do have 20 pound braid, but I can still cast it a far enough distance. Luckily to where the trout can still hit it. You put a split shot. I probably should put a split shot. So normally guys, when I'm casting lures, <clears throat> I do look, like to cover like sections. Like first I'll start off like this and then I'll start off like this or like this or whichever way but I like to fish all three sections and um, try to cover as much ground as possible or water. And I saw some nice trouts swimming around. I'm going to have to change my lure right now.
Man, all these fish are chasing us. Oh man, something just missed it. But I keep hearing them and I keep seeing them. Got him. Oh man, oh yeah, I still got him. <laughs> it's a small one though. Caught this guy on the jerk shed, or what was it? The, the the hyper jerk. Laters, man. Call your friends. Hey, Dad, all the bait left or what? Huh? Maybe we should get more bait because it looks like they're taking off. Huh? I think so because I don't see any more. I'll see if I can get some out. Oh, they're over here. Some big ones missed it. Oh, yes, sir. Hold up, Mr. Truck. A little one. Oop. See if something haunts it. Still too small. Yup. That is a 16 inch speckled trout. A little too small, but we're gonna get him. Get a bigger one. We need a keeper. We need a keeper. Hyper jerk has been killing it. But I'm gonna switch it up to something else right now and see if I can see what else we can get.
Ooh. No, it's not, but let's go. I caught this one on the outlaw lure. Can you give me some? Uh, Who the players? players. Yeah. <laughs> Oop. Cut it on this lure right here. The outlaw lure. One of my favorite ones right here. Got this nice, nice trout. On the outlaw lure, guys. I'm gonna throw it back in. Release them. Uh, so we can get another one. I was supposed to take a picture of it with my phone and I didn't take any pictures. Just one. Huh? Just one. Yeah. Get on. Alrighty guys, well, um, we did get to get a few good ones today. We ended up catching a few trout. Unfortunately, we didn't get any keepers. Um, you know, I was trying lure after lure after lure. We used live bait. You know, it was crazy because when we first got here, um, there was bait everywhere and there was trout everywhere. It was crazy. And um, then after a while, the, the bite started to slow down and, you know, we didn't really get anything else, but, you know, either way, we still had a great time out here. Um, you know, I really recommend you guys to come out here and try it out. It's a really nice pier. Great for family, for, you know, for fishing with the family or just if you want to come out here with a buddy or whatever. Awesome place. Really recommend you guys to check it out. But either way, we still had a great time out here. Uh, we're definitely going to be back to make some more videos. Um, but either way, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time.